Hello, hello. What's up, y'all? LL here. Final Fantasy 14 there. Very quiet opening today. Hope y'all doing good. Hope your day is going well. We just beat uh, this guy, Cherubert, Cherubert, at the end of the uh, Vault of the Holy Sea. And he just said, Our power, how can this be? And we're just going to continue on from there. Father, please. For a mercy, we were not too late. Must you do this, Father? Nidhogg is fallen. There is no need for further deception. Now is the time to renounce the lies which led us down this path. To start anew! And tear down the very pillars of our society? Our history? Our values? Everything we have built over a thousand years? <sighs> A fool to the last. Yep. Go, as Isla awaits. Lord Orchafon! It's no good. The wound is too deep. It refuses to mend. You are unharmed. Forgive me. I could not bear the thought of. I kind of get infinite relives, dude, so. 
Yeah. Oh, do not look at me so. A smile better suits a hero. Wow. I know not what to say. The others, they are gathered at for Tom Manor. Yeah, it's gonna be messy. Bad news. Please. A knight lives to serve, to protect, to sacrifice. There is no greater calling. Leave me to mourn and give chase for my son and for the nation he loved. Go! His sacrifice shall not be forgotten. Bye. Son. Like my new neck ne necklace? stand there in silence, but when all other others have forsaken us, Lord Hoshfalant took us in, and our beginnings of hope in a world of darkness. Did the utmost to raise our spirits so that we might face our troubles with courage, with conviction. So that we might face them as, as knights. I... We must press on with our mission, Tataru. Her return to your duties at the, at the uh, Forgotten Night. Let us go speak with the Sir Ayumaric, El. I worry for his well-being. Okay. 
Want some easy experience? My friends, I am in your debt. Think nothing of it. Your wounds are healing well, I trust. Some wounds do not heal. The Founding. The scriptures, a thousand years of lies, all to deceive the common man. Nay, our own brothers and sisters, for the blood of the Knights Twelve flows within all our veins. You knew this to be true. You knew and you concealed it. I should be interested to hear how you came by this knowledge. But yes, you have the right of it. The architects of Ishgard King Thordan and his knights twelve, entrapped and butchered the great worm, Rakatoske, that they might partake of her eyes and thereby transcend their mortal limits. Upon learning of their treachery, Nidhogg was consumed with a murderous and justified rage. I dare say you know what followed. The great worm slew the king and half of his knights. Aye, but Nidhogg was subdued, and his eyes plucked from their sockets by the knights that remained. Their one mistake was to show mercy, for from his brother Hreisvelge did Nidhogg receive a new eye, thus rejuvenating his form and empowering him to embark upon an eternal quest for vengeance. Whilst Thordan's son Haldreth took one of Nidhogg's eyes and learned to wield its power in defense of his people. Thus was the first Azure Dragoon born, and ever since that time, his honored successors have risen to drive Nidhogg from our lands whenever the worm has returned to plague us. I ask you, my son, will you answer for my sins? Will your son and his son answer for me as well? What do you mean? If a man cannot atone for his sins in the course of his all-too-fleeting life, must his progeny then be held to account? Must every subsequent generation be judged as well? Thorin's betrayal of Ratatoska was an unconscionable, unforgivable sin. Should we then, as his descendants, meekly surrender ourselves to an eternity of punishment? Nay, say I, I would not see our children sacrificed in a vain attempt to appease an implacable foe. Dragons are not like us, my son. To they who live forever, the wrongs of antiquity are as those of yesterday. No reparations shall ever suffice. This fact alone should serve as ample justification for our actions. Yet some refuse to see it as such. For men like you, who yearn to commit themselves to a nobler cause, a more compelling narrative is required. This is your solution. This is how you protect our people. 
You have given us a lost cause, a death sentence, with your compelling narrative. You but doom our countrymen to give their lives for a lie. And they do so gladly. Highborn and lowborn alike are proud to serve, to fight and die for their country. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to them? What would you tell the wives who have lost their husbands, the mothers who have lost their sons, that their loved ones died for naught? I... Uh... Over the course of a thousand years, countless men have donned these robes, and every one of them came to accept the necessity of this solution. Once, I hoped you might come to accept it as well. Do not despair, my son. Soon I shall free us from the sins of antiquity and bring about the change you so fervently desire. If he has spoken with others, I would have their names. Escort him to a cell and question him thoroughly. Your Eminence. Dude, you've been standing there for like... 10 minutes. You saw something, did you not? A vision of the past? So this is the power of the Echo. Would that it had shown you a finer moment from my past. <laughs> Twas an exercise in futility, as you saw. Faced with the firmity of his conviction and his many ready rejoinders, my words deserted me. To be frank, I am embarrassed to recall it. A friend once impressed upon me the importance of differentiating between words, deeds, and beliefs. Were he here, I suspect he would judge your father's conviction to be no more than rank, self-serving delusion. <coughs> Even so, I cannot help but wonder what manner of change he intends to bring about. I have given some thought to that as well. During the battle within the vault, the Heaven's Ward demonstrated strange and unnatural abilities. Aye, the manner in which Sir Zephyrin struck down Lord Horshafon was unlike anything I've ever seen before. The spectacle called to mind King Thordon and his Knights Twelve as they are depicted in scripture. Holy powers and all. Mere fabrications, which have become objects of faith, instilled with the belief of countless devoted souls. Seven hells! If Lady Iceheart can use her own body as a vessel for summoning, I see no reason why others could not. Are the Heaven's Ward truly so reckless? Unbelievable! As they fled, my father spoke of Aziz La. Though I know not what he intends, I fear no good shall come of it. His ambitions are too great, and his minions too powerful. We must find the Heaven's Ward and stop my father before it is too late. I 
Master L, Master Afanad, I, Imerk, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, do hereby entreat the aid of the signs of the Seventh Dawn. Our aid in preventing whatever it is the Archbishop intends. Your aid in bringing him to justice. To which blood has been spilled for the lies he perpetrated no more. Could be silent, but I thank you, L. I've heard many men make such pledges, but you, you speak in earnest. Much has changed since our order's founding, but I, our, or, our duty to combat the primal threat has not. The Archbishop and the Heaven's Ward are guilty of the crime of summoning, and L and I will stop them. That I could join you in the pursuit, but alas, my father's absence has gr thrown our government into chaos. Ever since the founding of our nation, there has been an archbishop to serve as the uh, guiding light for the masses, a force for stability to counterbalance the High House's ceaseless maneuvering. Convincing the people to recognize the truth of our origins would have been difficult even with my father's support. The road ahead is that much more difficult, uh, fraught with peril without it. Yet walk in it we must, but yet walk it we must. Unity is more vital to our survival than ever. After all, Needhog's death did not mark the secession of the Dravanian uh, hostile hostilities. Far from it, we will have great need of each other in the days to come. You may have on my lands for Sir Aymeric. To my dying breath, I shall defend Ishgard from the Horde. If I may, Lord Commander, I would like to assist the Scions in their search for the Archbishop. L, Master Avanad, pray attend me outside. Very well then, with me, L. I believe we have much to discuss. Level 57 quests, y'all. Solai was uh, eastward bound, so I sent word to Camp Cloudtop of the, on the off chance that the airship uh, passed nearby. Sure enough, Lady Elle informed me that it has been sighted by her scouts. The Archbishop is somewhere in a sea of clouds? Or was? Not long ago, the uh, airship has not been seen since it disappeared into the north northern reaches near the Blue Widow window. Alas. Because the region is firmly held by the Vanu Vanu and cannot easily be accessible from Camp Cloudtop, House Hilianarte has yet estab to establish a foothold. We will need not only an airship, but a captain bold enough to risk the beastman's wrath. I think we both know the perfect candidate, L. Let's pay a visit to Master Garland at the Sky Steel Manufactory. I see. I take my leave for now. There are other matters which require, require my attention. That's an easy experience. Uh, 
Ah. The Dashly Duo. What mischief have you two been getting up to lately? You haven't heard, have you? I hardly know where to start. Summary. 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 He was a good man. Sid, have you ever heard of Aziz Lia, uh, Aziz La? Archbishop spoke of it before he fled. No. It's probably some sorts of phenomenal cosmic power that's the key to his plans. When he told El, the, As uh, the Asians tried to attempt him as they tempted Gaius with the ultimate weapon. Ultima weapon. If he spoke true about playing along, I can see him attempting to seize it. I think we need another reason to pursue him. Well, I'm convinced. Enterprise is at your disposal. Go to the airship landing when you're ready to part. Heh. <laughs> it's just as well. After pulling you out of the fire these last few times, I reckon I was due to deliver you into it. see this. Ah, uh, it's too bright. Ah, uh, it's the cats. I just took a picture of them I want to show you, but... It's too bright. Into the fire it is, in that case. I should inform uh, Tatar of our plans. Go on ahead to the uh, airship landing. I shall jo join you in on. How you do a flip? Maybe it's like a thief specialty. flip and jealous I uh, heard about your man harsh font sorry for your loss hell good to see you again now it'll be a pleasure to have you aboard the enterprise again The boys have been hard at work preparing for our flight, and I'm pleased to say we're ready to depart. Thumbs up. And as soon as a certain... Ah. Pray, forgive me my lateness. Tatara and I had much to discuss. We still have no news of the missing science, but she assures me that... Uh, Yuri and Rio are pursuing promising leads. Come, come. Continue this discussion aboard the Enterprise.
to the northern reaches of the Sea of Clouds, where countless isles yet remained uncharted. In search of a mysterious land known as Azizla, and the unmasked villain who sought to claim its secrets. Oblivious to the new threat which followed in their wake, they came. Been over there. Whole new zone. From here, Camp Cloudtop looks rather far. Ah, <clears throat> Gary Gardo. The Vandu could come, could be anywhere, even watching us as we speak. Assuming Soleil is here, I doubt she will come to us. She should begin searching the owls in earnest. Of course, we must re remain vigilant for uh, Vandu scouts as well. I would rather av avoid needless bloodshed. Sorry guys, let me go turn off my heat. It's getting a little warm in here. It can be... About 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Appreciate that. Sorry for the little delay there. Did I turn off the heater? Look at them. So many isles, islands. So many places to hide. No, we must not lose hope. He's out there, L, and we will find him. Can I look at this destination? Maybe not. I don't get it. Oh, look out. Gotta do an emote. He searched the skies, but... There's seen nothing resembling the missing airship. Look at that star up there.
half this effort was doomed to failure. Begs mercy of netherlings. Does not fight. Does not wish to die. The Vanu. Is that a Vanu being attacked? But by whom? Over there. Imperial troops? Ishgardians, seize them. Don't know where the Archbishop is. The enemy of my enemy. We have no choice. With me, El. Protect the Vanu. With the book. Ah, little Vanu, how you doing? Netherlings save Lanu Vanu from certain death. Shower showers Netherlings with thanks, like summer squall. Lanu knows not what wind bears Netherlings to cl cloud sea, but warmly welcomes them. Shows gratitude where gratitude is due. Ain't no thing. Lana owes you much and more much owes much and more to Netherlings. As saviors and here as heroes, uh, Zundu welcomes you. To village we go, to north, come, come!
So the Garleans were searching for the Archbishop and believed that the Vanu Vanu knew something of his whereabouts. Methods notwithstanding, they may have the right of it. I conclude we should accept Lanu's offer of hospitality and visit his village. Should be able to do it in, uh, oh, wrong button. Should be able to do this in eight minutes. damage. I right, should do it. Tell me. Walk right past that thing, didn't I? Might as well get it. Ooh, he's gonna see me.
close. This guy might take care of him. Like a breeze, guys, the leaves to rest. Come and lay, do lay down your burdens, netherlings. Lonu Vanu throws wide arms in greeting. Behold, Oke Zunda, Zundu. I like it. A far warmer welcome than the one you received from the Von Vandu, I think. Vandu bluster and blow their hither, hither and yon, sound and fury like aimless gale. Huh? What unseen lightning begets such thunderous report? There you are. Did you see it? It's that darn flying whale again. The Imperials are after it. Where? The white? Bismarck. He's wounded. just eat that island oh insatiable white devourer of worlds why must you torment us ah Lanavanu wastes no more words on his unfathomable deeds come netherlings come and break words to the chief of Zundu Bismarck is back Let's get our experience and call it a day. <laughs> you got a perfect time. Watch this young Vanu Vanu dance uh, thunderously and as soaring uh, Sanua. Okay, Zondu culture is rich as soil after summer rains. Is there more nettling? Is there more than nettling would know? Gono is a dance master of Okezundu. Okay, Shares all no tribes vibrant dance. This is falling sediment piles up on the great mountain. Mastery of dance requires practice over many moons. You must prove arms must move arms with grace of leaves. Which flutters in gentle breeze, and pound feet with the ferocity of rolling thunder. Look upon the netherling, and no prowess of Oke Zundu. Feels the urge to dance ri rise like a welling cloud rain. Very well. Netherling may dance the dance of his people. Just forgive Vanu younglings if they burst into gales of laughter. I will probably do the, uh, Talk to the chief next time, because I don't want a whole scene to start. Look at that guy. Amazing. There he goes. Nice little village, huh? Call it a day here. Hope to see you all next time. We'll get back into the story then. Talk to the chief. Until then, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Can you subscribe if you haven't yet? And can you check out my website, llil.com? I do pet portraits, fan art, custom framing, and more.
All right, y'all. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time.